Actually, while everyone's walking around, I should finally level you up. Hopefully this won't stop you in your tracks, but... So you are leveling up as a cleric. Useful. Let's see what priest spells you get. Ah, more level level 4 spells. That's nice. Cloak of Fear. Ooh. That could be fun. And neutralize poison. Okay. And then... I guess we'll just... We'll go with another healing spell. Why not? Go ahead. It stopped her in her tracks. Of course. Well, how many other layers do I have above this? Actually, yeah, it is five dungeon levels, isn't it? Because first we ran into the lizard men. Then we ran into the next level of lizard men. Then, yes. let's try and rest. We'll see if I'm okay, ready. good. First we ran into lizard men. Okay. Then more lizard men. Then this level. Then, uh, which was filled with undead. Then... We ran into a bunch of idiots. Well, then we ran into the Wan T. Then we had to deal with Yuxume, or whatever her name is. I know I'm butchering it, but I think that's part of the point. It's meant to be unpronounceable. It's that which ha that which has no vowels. That which has no vowels. <laughs> oh dear. I thought that was supposed to be parody in Cthulhu too. Come on, Munchkin. Which is a silly thing. At least I know the entire area is clear, except for the occasional sword. My freaking gosh, we have cleared so much random crap. I'm gonna need to go through all these potions and whatnot to decide what I'm actually going to use. Oh, you stepped on a trap. For a second, I thought we were under attack. Nope. Just an assault to my senses, I suppose. Want? Yeah, while I'm thinking about it. What was I gonna do? Alright, put your armor back on. Mm -hmm. Curiosity, is the priest still here? Probably. It's just kind of surprising to me just how many layers of this are there. Makes you wonder how many layers knew about the other and who was working for who. Because having all of these people just tucked away under here just seems a little too convenient. There's obviously some kind of force going on, but the question is... Well, I doubt that that is all there is to it. There's bound to be more as we determine what exactly is going on, and I highly doubt that... That whatever it was, was the only thing involved. I'm trying to remember, what is this game rated? Because that didn't look rated T. But, ah well. It's not like it was provocative or anything, just noticeable. Ah well. Okay. I'm not going to do anything I in terms of you. editing for it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I lose this channel. I, I do this casually anyway. It's not like it matters too much to me what happens in the grand scheme of things. And who got stuck? Uh, of course. So, just trying to think. Now that we'll have the Hearthstone gem, how exactly are we going to use it? Because if what she said is correct, then is... Well, I assume Arendelle would be able to use it as an arms druid since he's connected to the land and whatnot. But I'm not sure. Either way, there's definitely something going on. I'm not sure I want to find out what it is. Certainly. And we're back to square one. to Kuldahar. Uh-oh. That's really not good. That's really not good. Thanks for your help, stranger. These beasts came out of nowhere. Watch your backs. There are more of them about. 
Jeez, just when you think you rescue everyone and everything might be okay. More beasties. Well, crap. Your turn draws near. Yeah? Sounds good to me. I've time enough for a reasonable I'm request. Ready. Where's Where's Arendelle in all this? I'll get right on it. Yeah, well, let's just scour the village and make sure that there aren't any more beasties wandering around. Check by the center of town first. I'm ready. You just tell me what you need. At least these guys seem pretty easy. Well, they're easy pickings compared to what we've just been dealing with, but still, quite obnoxious. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I'll get right on it. Wonder what everyone has to say about it. Sorry for the f confusion, friend. We're having our share of problems at the moment. Looks like you stirred up a viper's nest at Dragon's Eye, and they came down to pay us back. Hmm. Whitcomb, I had a disturbing... In Actually... I had nothing to do with these attackers, but I will get to the bottom of it. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Whitcomb, I had a disturbing encounter with one of your barmaids, Lyson, in the Vale of Shadows. I was wondering where that fool woman had gone off to. I was worried she'd been taken by raiders. But in the Vale, you say? See, she said she was going to visit family in Upper Kaldahar, like she does every other month or so. I suspect that was a story she told you so you wouldn't know she was going on religious retreats. She was a priest of Aril, and she would head up to, into the Vale to do the will of her goddess. She won't be coming back. W are you serious? Lyson may be as cold as a witch's breast, but a priestess of the Frost Maiden? Come on now. Now, don't jest with wi- Look, I did what had to be done, but she had winter in her heart and meant Koldahar harm, so I was forced to fight her. I don't wish to discuss it anymore. I... see. Well, to tell the truth, I suspected Lyson was something more than she let on. Still, an honorable priestess. My. Well, I'll see that our belongings are thrown out and buried with the dead. Without delay. I'd like to see these items. Perhaps they contain some clues as to what is transpiring in the Dale. If not, then I shall see that they are kept safe. Well, hmm. Alright, I've got them here. Thank you, Whitcomb. So a bunch of scrolls. That we don't have room for, as per usual. Alright, I'm going to need to find some that are drop. Okay, here's how we make room. Have you take stuff into your quiver. Ooh, that looks like a nice cloak. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Alright, there doesn't appear to be anything else. So, let's Sounds finish wrecking these guys. Okay, nothing we'll in here. And of course, my greatest enemy, trying we'll to move through that. doors. By Tempas, the vision speaks true. You are the heroes from my dreams. Do I know you? Our paths have not crossed until this day. I am Yuldair, son to Rethrik, elder and shaman to the tribe of the Bear. Well met, Yuldair. What is this business about dreams and visions? The vision is why I have come to this place. Tempas has guided me to you. For what purpose? This I cannot say. I know only that the storm of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Already, the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. Tell me more of this new and old king. 
Wolfstein is his name. He was a great warrior from an elder tribe who was slain in battle on the eve of last season. Now his body has returned from death's halls to lead my people once more as king. He came back from the grave? What kind of undead monster is this king of yours? Wolfstein's flesh is but a vessel, a borrowed tool. The spirit of the new king is much, much older than the form it now inhabits. It is said that the spirit of Jared governs his body. It is this claim that has fueled the fires of vengeance among my people. Jared? Isn't he the barbarian hero entombed beneath the temple in East Haven? The same. You know our history well. Now, after centuries of imprisonment, Jared's spirit is free and rallies the tribes once more in a common cause. If this Jared was such a great hero, surely his cause must be just. So why are you here? You must understand. I have read the signs. Tempas will not favor either side in the coming battles. Both my people and those of the towns shall be haunted by countless deaths without honor. I have cast my spirit into the nether realm in search of a way to prevent what must not be. My vision quest led me here to find you. You are the answer I seek. I see. So what can we do to help? You must come to Hengoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Very well. We shall accompany you. Although I am certain you are the heroes of my vision, I fear you are not yet strong enough for the task at hand. Go forth and sharpen your skills upon the field of valor. When you've grown stronger, Return here, and we shall speak more. As you wish. Farewell. Interesting. Sounds good to me. So, okay. have they content locked it? Lock stuff based on my party's general level? Interesting. What can I do? Okay. Greetings, weary traveler. Oler, are you in need of aid? Has it... Hmm. Has anyone ever told you that you look a lot like Brother Gus, the priest inside? Yes, on numerous occasions. It's really not much of a coincidence, considering that we are twins. Twins, eh? You even dress the same. Not quite. Yes, well, is there some way I can be of assistance to you? Ah, certainly. Alright, so is there anything in here worth worrying about? Okay. Apart from you being back. I trust you. Go ahead. Okay, so not too much to worry okay. about. Let's see what she has to say now that we've talk to some people. Hmm. Odd. Didn't didn't we run into both of them while we were Actually, they might show back up once the well, I don't know. They did me. leave sooner than we did. Huh. I don't know. One of them did linger, I think, but either way, let's take care of all of our inventory needs and then we can worry about everything else. How's that for a plan? Oh, right. These things. Kill them. Preferably with killing. Something Wait, wrong? the townspeople are fighting back? That doesn't seem like it'll end well. Yeah, I'm here. Magic missile! Yeah, I'm ready. Bam. You just tell me what you Well, I don't know. Oh, it was Athlon, I think. Yep. Well, that was certainly murderous. I wonder what can No wonder why we got a blacksmith. Sure. I want to thank you for finding my boy for me. I had almost given up hope. I nearly fell out of my chair when he came bouncing through the door, telling tales of heroes and monsters with nary a scratch on him. He's in the back now, resting. Go on in and say hello if you wish. We will. Well, first, we'd like to dump all of our crap. Uh-oh. Okay, for a second, I thought the game had broke. Okay, good. Just deselected him. Oh! Game! 
They don't like what's happening. A lot of sort of confusion. I'll need to look at that again. I'm already equipping the bow I want you to have, I think. I wonder if that... I'll have to go looking up, look up to see if Berserker darts. Huh. I'll have to go see if that has anything. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure Precios Dagger is... I'm not sure which one I want to keep, actually. Let's figure that out right now. 1d4 plus 1. Hmm. Thacko plus 5. I'm trying to remember what that does, though. Okay, definitely not that one. I think we'll keep both of these. Kill, take both of those. And then... Yeah, let's sell it. I can buy it back if need be, I think. Although for a lot. Eh, admittedly, I did get a pretty penny from him there. I wonder what enchanted... Oh yeah, you do up a bunch of enchanted stuff. What is this, anyway? Looks like a... Oh, it's... Huh. Okay. It looks like most of the stuff I'd have... It needs to be sold okay. to the other guy. Thanks again for saving you. me. My papa said you could have the key to the chest in his shop. He keeps a big hammer in there. Wham! How do you like that, Mr. Giant? Rawr, not very much. <laughs> Get it? Yes, you're very funny. Thanks for the key. In his shop. Where is his... this, I guess? Ooh, that looks like a good hammer. Conlin's hammer, Anvil's twin. This seemingly ordinary work hammer is imbued with a special encha specialized enchantment that enhances its ability to shape metal, particularly the treated ore used by mages to create iron golems. Originally intended as a tool to be used in the creation of such guardians, it is equally proficient in dismantling them should the need arise. Peculiar. Also, let's identify this one thing about it. Threadbare Root. Mantle of the Coming Storm. What's it do? Cast free action. Ooh. That could be useful. So let's save the first pair. Wow, that's powerful. This seemingly threadbare robe has become dormant upon license command, so as not to expose herself as a priestess of Oril. When as much as a single snowflake falls upon the robe, it transforms into a scintillating cloak of white that allows the wielder to float above the snowdrifts and walk through even raging rivers with ease. Most merchants will not wish to purchase this item, or will do so at a very low price, as they see it as a sacred item of Aureal the Frost Maiden, and likely to attract their followers, and her displeasure. Created during the ceremonies of the coming storm, the onset of winter to Aureal, these robes are specially created to resist flames and allow the wearer to resist any attempt to stop or hold them. Although the priestesses of Aureal are naturally resistant to cold and can move through snow and icy rivers with ease, these cloaks amplify the protection of the goddess allowing the wearer of additional cold resistance, which allows a wearer already immune to cold to absorb its power, and even goes so far as to leech the heat from fire attacks directed at the wearer. In addition, the robe may be invoked to allow the wearer to pass over or through any obstacle designed to hold them, whether web spells, ghoul paralyzation, hold person spells, and the like. Well, what's this compared to this? Just... Okay, yeah, that's far superior. And I guess you can take this robe. What do you not like? What are you not getting along with? This? Ah. Yeah, it's not as useful. I wonder if this. <sighs> Let me guess. Yep. Yeah. Alright, you can use it. Go ahead. Actually, you know what? My pally should be using it because she's the one out in front! Or supposed to be most of the time.
All right. So, I'm thinking the best thing I can do at this point is just to double back to where Arendelle is. And then talk to him, make sure I know what to do, and then take care of all of my nonsense. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I should probably gather up into one place all the stuff that I want to sell. Oh, right! Give me a target. What? Magic! Go! I'll get right Yay, on. magic! Nothing like a good old magic missile. So, real quick, what else were we carrying that we might want to sell? Okay, the studded leather armor plus two will be sold. So what exactly is this long sword of confusion? So this is 2d4 plus 2, which is why we're using it, and gives a bunch of resistances, while this applies a chance that the enemy will become confused. Wait, where is he? I am off. What are you using? Oh, just a standard bastard sword plus 1? Okay, you're getting this weapon then. Okay, no questions about that. You are taking this weapon. So... So we definitely want to sell this stuff. Just trying to think of what else we want to sell. Hmm. What else is there in here? Well, what are these exactly? 10% chance of going berserk. All right. Well, I'll keep them in hand for this guy in case he wants, wants or needs them. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give you a few of these arrows just so that you have someone to throw around in case I ever do have you use a bow. Sounds good to me. <sighs> Thanks, Sylvanus, you have returned. Evil is afoot in Kaldahar. Strange orcs prowl through town, killing our townspeople. I must ask you, have you found the source of evil in Dragon's Eye? Perhaps. A strange woman named Yuxtam Tsunome was raising an army of trolls, lizard men, Wanti, and undead. I defeated her and many of her minions. Excellent. Thank you for destroying my ancient enemy. I couldn't have planned this better myself. W what What do you mean? You have been unwitting pawns in the grand scheme of things. You have saved this town from immediate destruction. But it is all for naught. In a few months, Kaldahar will be frozen solid. There's nothing you can do about it. Who are you? I am sure Exonomai must have explained it to you. She and I have been foes for centuries. Thanks to you, the vendetta has ended. Arundel is bleeding out his life above us. Now I can begin to build my forces in this world without fear. No, really. Who are you? Who am I? I am but a simple priest, spreading the gospel of suffering to the masses. Soon, you will all know the litany of our faith. I'd start praying now if I were you. <laughs> Farewell. Yes. Uh, what? Okay. I trust you. <coughs> At last. I feared I could not hold any longer. The, the last of my life has almost left my body, and soon I shall be restored to the balance. Arendelle, what happened? A man, but not a man. He wore my skin like a cloak, my face like a mask. He came suddenly in the night and struck me down. Nature itself seemed to recoil from him. Even with the strength of the great oak bolstering me, I was unable to stop him. He touched me once, his hands as blood, and I felt my life begin to drain away. 
Arendelle, hold on. We may still may be able to help you. No. Only the hope you would return has kept my body alive. You must take the Heartstone Gem to the Elven Fortress of the Severed Hand. Severed Hand? But why? The Severed Hand is the prison of Laurel, one of the last of the Elven Archmages. He is the only one left who can use the Heartstone Gem. If he still lives. But the Severed Hand? I've never heard of it. Where can I find it? It is to the south. Nature will guide you. Enough of my power remains that I may do that. And now, I must go. Serve the balance. Protect Kaldahar from this evil. Farewell, Arendelle. We will see you avenged. I'll get right on it. Ooh, what is this? Can't tell. I need to rest. I'm ready. You just sounds good to me. Still. Huh. Certainly. I will admit, that was not at all what I expected to have happen. Sure. Out of I expected to come back, receive Certainly. some kind of answer, and then hey, maybe move on about my okay. life, but that was not what I expected. Huh. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Well. Oh, it's you. Where have you been? Did you see the monsters? They came out of the mountains and started attacking the town. I saw them from my lookout post. A bunch of big, scary orcs look looking orcs led by a man in gray. Tell me about the man in gray. Who was he? I don't know. I've never seen him around town before. I watched him go into Arendelle's house while the monsters attacked the town. I hope Arendelle's all right. Well done, mate. Keep up the good work. What can I do? Well, shit. That pretty much summarizes thing. This. So. Guess when I think it's about to gain some degree of normalcy, to where I might understand what's going on. No. Wow, that is far away. So. Yeah. Looks like the best thing I can do now is just. Pond take care of everything in my inventory and head to the severed hand. I remember seeing the severed hand mentioned in the soundtrack, although I don't know what significance they'll have throughout the story. So, main thing I'll need to do before I get back to this, I'll need to I sell everything I don't care about, identify everything else, and from there just make sure that I'm ready to go for the next battle. So, I'll need to Probably stock up on a bunch of regular arrows so that I can save up on these, but... And more importantly, I need to figure out what of all these potions I wish to keep, and which I ha really don't care about. Because it's a lot of different... Hmm. There's all sorts of stuff involving this, but... Hmm. Odd that these antidotes look entirely different, but just need to figure out what to do and hopefully from there we'll get everything sorted all right then i'll see you all later